Remat, the maker of the exotic electric hypercars, Concept 2 is right here, uh, is partnering up with uh, two uh, legacy manufacturers uh, that are the opposite of that. They are the makers are not exotic at all electric cars, though pretty good ones. So let me tell you what this partnership is about, why they're investing the money, and what the product, the final product, is going to be. It's actually a pretty exciting story. Coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, that's okay. As long as you click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. Okay, so uh, you probably have heard of this company. If you haven't, it's a, a company founded in Croatia and uh, out of all places, right? But uh, they uh, they make uh, this exotic, amazing electric car per cars. Uh, they're, they're a little pricey, a little pricey. Uh, Concept 1 was their first one, and now Concept 2 is in the works as well. But they have also um, have provided their technology to other manufacturers, including Pininfarina, which is another exotic electric uh, hypercar that's coming on the market. You, you've seen uh, um, me report on them quite a few times, and Michael Persky, their CEO, I've been on my show quite a few times as well. Uh, um, Austin Martin, uh, Jaguar, uh, Kongingseg, all of these companies, uh, Remat's already provided uh, the technology for. Uh, so they they're kind of they're recognized throughout the um, throughout the industry. Their CEO Mate Remat's has been on uh, my show last year when I caught up with them uh, during the Monterey Car Week, as you can see the. The uh, the uh, concept two in uh, I think what are they calling it California blue, um, the uh, that uh, you can see that on my channel obviously <coughs> really a really really exotic and beautiful car, so um, but now they are making a deal with uh, these guys Hyundai and Kia now as you know Hyundai ha uh, owns a part of Kia I think like a third of that and then Kia uh, owns some of the uh, co-own some of the projects and, and little companies with Hyundai. So they're kind of sister companies. Um, and they have decided to invest about 90 million US dollars into Remots, uh, essentially to help them produce a, what they're calling it, high-performance electric car. This is going to be part of their N brand. So it's going to be under Hyundai's N brand. We're not that familiar with it here in the United States. It is a little bit more popular in uh, Korea and, uh, and in Europe, but nevertheless. Now, Here's what they're gonna do, and and, and here's uh, here's another image of them. Uh, I believe this is at the uh, Remats's um, uh, demo room. But by the way, what is, like these are the all right. So this one and this one, the only press pictures they've released, right? Like out of out of every look at their faces. Look look at their faces. Right? Couldn't you caught a moment where you told everybody to smile or look I don't know happy? Um, but no, this is the man. And look, uh, Matil, Matil doesn't look any better. Look at that. They, they caught him halfway, in, you know, breathing in or breathing out. I don't know. I, I just maybe maybe one thing they should invest into there, maybe like staff photographers that can <laughs> put up not weird uh, press release pictures. But okay, that aside. All right, so let's talk about what this is going to be, what the timeline is going to be, and why I'm excited about it. This is this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, before that, let me uh, give you a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all-electric SUV that's coming on the market uh, at the end of this year, but in Europe and the United States uh, at the end of next year. Uh, make sure to get on the reservation list. Join me and 50,000 other people. Uh, zero money down and about 60 seconds to fill out that form. Absolutely amazing car. Uh, go to the description of this video to reserve yours. Okay, so what do they do? By the way, so Hyundai and Kia have actually, as you know, have their own pretty good cars. Now, whether they stand behind them that much, that still is, you know, I, I don't know how you want to look at it, but obviously Hyundai Kona EV is on, on sale right now. Uh, great range, pretty good car, especially for the price, especially after the incentives. Uh, there's Kia Niro EV, which is a bigger car with a little bit less range, but still about 250 miles. I just drove it in Santa Cruz in the beginning of the year. Absolutely love this car. Again, for the price is absolutely, uh, but but limited availability. And of course, Kia Soul EV, uh, the second generation that is going in production probably by the end of this year, maybe the beginning of this year. I know they just pushed it because of the battery availability. It's everyone's, it's, that's their number one problem. It looks like it's Tesla's even number one problem pretty soon as I reported uh, earlier in the day um, and, and yesterday about the Panasonic uh, uh, supplies. But that's a whole different, whole different uh, uh, story. Now, let's talk about this deal. 
this deal is essentially about Remot helping them to do uh, uh, to, to to produce a high performance uh, electric car. Now, why do this company like Remot and Paninfarina are are being featured on my show and other uh, other publications uh, often? Because most people cannot afford a two million dollar car. However. I feel like the public perception of electric cars is definitely being pushed forward when these cars are beating Porsches, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Bugattis, and all kinds of um, other exotic cars because, you know, torque. The torque and the power of uh, electric motors is absolutely unbelievable. Now, there's some there's some concerns and challenges still to, to make sure that these batteries can perform at the high level, at high speeds and stuff like that, but it looks like they've solved most of them. So, but I can't wait until the technology that right now is being used really to produce a few hundred cars around the world will be used for the manufacturers that are hopefully will be producing in tens or maybe even hundred thousands of the, uh, 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 copies of those cars and show that uh, they show that technology uh, uh, to the to the world and also being able to be relatively affordable. I don't expect this car to be in its you know 30s or even 40s. But relatively affordable to compete with other cars like maybe BMW, a th uh, M3, and so forth. And I can't wait for them to do that. Now, the timeline is a little bit meh. I'm not as excited about it because I basically want to come up with a concept uh, sometime next year, probably by the end of the year. So right now, it's kind of a concept of the concept. Uh, but, you know, it does take time. I know uh, Remats only has about 500 people on staff right now, and you know uh, it, it it does take some major resources to produce a car for a major manufacturer. Uh, but uh, you know we'll we'll see what it looks like. We'll see what the stats are. But I gotta tell you, if we're gonna see some production, you know, relatively affordable performance electric cars in the future, this is how it has to start. An exotic small startup that already knows what they're doing and selling their cars for you know millions of dollars. Uh, combining with a, 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 a legacy brand that has the resources but is targeting an, an, an audience that where it has to be pretty affordable. So that is why I'm really excited about it, and I can't wait what this uh, what this end brand is going to be. By the way, the 90 million dollars are being invested. Um, by the way, it's not really that big of an amount, so I'm assuming that's kind of going mainly into salaries. You know, maybe some equipment and stuff like that. So overall, it's not really that much. 80% um, of it is coming from Hyundai. 20% is coming from Kia. So it looks like Hyundai is really going to be the one uh, uh, leading the research and development there. And again, their sister companies, the investments go back and forth. And it looks like this is just how they uh, 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 figured it out. Obviously, probably not going to make uh, that big of a difference. Don't forget to get on our VIP list, by the way, with some of the cool stories like this, except for the bonus story uh, that we send out on every Saturday where you can see it on my channel or even our website. So these are uh, pretty cool um, articles that you'll still get in your inbox and you can read them. Uh, and on top of that, we're also going to be offering some deals and discount codes that are going to be only good for those who subscribe to um, our newsletters because that's the only way to get them. Uh, working on one with Evanex right now, so hurry up and go to e4electric.com slash VIP and get on our VIP list. All right, looking forward to your comments, guys. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.